All right, hello guys. Welcome to Heat Wave Survival. Today is the hottest day I have ever seen. We're starting off strong with the window AC, putting humidity right back into the air, but we're gonna fix it. So, all right, let's go ahead and start it up. Oof. Ooh. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap, that is some that is That is rough. That is rough. All right. It is very loud. Let, let's go outside and see what's going on. Because it's the morning right now. So we have to start the day. We got to start plugging in some fans and stuff. But before we even try to do that, let's see what's going on. I'm going to turn the compressor on. All right. So AC is quite loud today. I don't know if I, I don't know if the compressor's Oh yeah, the compressor's on. Yeah, it is working. It is working hard today. Yep. It's very loud. We're not gonna turn on the Medea yet. Let's go up and take a look at it. All right, let's go check out the Medea air conditioner. All right, here's the brand new Medea air conditioner. We're not gonna turn it on quite yet. We'll probably turn it on after we come back from uh, the store shopping today, because I guess we're gonna go and look at some fans. All right, so can't wait to use these. And before we continue, we're gonna go and turn on some fans downstairs. All right, let's start powering up some fans. I'm gonna have to give my phone a break to charge, so we'll have to wait. All right, let's go. This is the main kitchen fan. This is running now. All right, and while we're still in the kitchen area, we're gonna turn on this by the vent fan. All right, this is the Sar Sosta Breeze Tower Fan. That's working. We got some more fans to power up. I'm gonna go downstairs to the blast fans and stuff. Before my phone tries to turn off on me. All right, let's turn this on. The Ruzu Fan. This almost useless comfort zone fan. That takes a long time to get up to speed. Let's go power plus box fan and power that up. Yep. And go in here, power up this fan. All right, now I gotta go back upstairs with the charge and I'll see you again all right new observation it appears that the air conditioner is humidifying the room again now is up to 72 percent humidity i don't think that's supposed to happen i don't know why that's really happening 
I contacted GE yesterday. They haven't responded to anything I said on YouTube or or my email. So a little bit weird behavior from General Electric. But I gotta wait for them to respond. So very weird. It smells gone away now, so that's nice, but I guess it's just time for it for it to be cleaned because it is one of those units. The dual fan units do need to be cleaned time to time, so I don't know how exactly I'm gonna clean the ding, but yeah. Alright, we're back down to this comfort zone fan. This thing is almost a waste of electricity. Um I'm thinking about moving it back downstairs just for a backup fan. This is really not doing much of anything. What this room really needs is just a better tower fan. I was looking at some tower fans, but um, they're all unfortunately digitally controlled. So, yep, yeah, I don't, I don't, we don't really need a digitally controlled tower fan in here. The timer, because the timer does, it only turns off the fan, doesn't turn it back on, so. I'd rather not have digital controls, but it looks like we're going to be forced into digital controls again. So, there we go. I will not begin to, I already have a, I actually already have a tar fan at the um, other house that doesn't really need, doesn't really need to be over there. So, I may move it back into here and put it in this room. So, they'll be much better equipped for this room. And actually really cool it down really well in here. So, we'll be doing that. So this is this thing here for now. It's just probably gonna get moved very soon. It's really, I don't know what that fan is gonna be used for now. It's just gonna be an emergency backup fan, or I'll give it away to someone who could use a little bit of coolness. All right, I'm gonna do a test because the, the AC is not cooling the room down all the way before turning off. So I wonder if it's actually starting off thermal out on me so I'm gonna try this scan of that compressor temperature. Alright. Let's see. Walmart we're gonna go in and take a look at the fans and air conditioners they have available my GE air conditioner I think is starting to go into over um, to dermal overload so we'll be taking a look all right before my phone explodes while I'm walking into here I found a uh, hmm I'm gonna do 400 watt male halide lamp it's a little floodlight while I was walking into the um, Walmart, I guess I found this, you know, how I flood lamp, I guess that's nice to see, even though it's completely other than useless. Okay, we are at the Walmart, and we have 8,000 BTU at window. Okay, we are in the cooling fan section. Almost every AC is missing today, so that's pretty cool. Talking about cool, we got these TCL window air duct conditioners and 8,000 BTU, my DS left. All of the small room air conditioners are gone. There's no manual air conditioners left. They only have 8,000 BTU digital. Oh, there's one left actually, this one. The black color, which I really don't like black window ACs. They stick out like a sore thumb, so we'll be getting that. And what is that? 10,000. This is 8,000. They still have some 8,000s left, but these are probably going to be gone by the end of the day. And these have Wi Fi, air conditioners, 
Yeah, won't be getting any of those. Do you have some fans here? These are all digital. Vernado fan. Medea Blateless Ear Purifier fan. Some Better Home and Garden fans and some old Alaska ones. That's digital. It's all digital. Some Dreo Tower fans. Yep. Dreo Tower fans. Honeywell Quiet Set Tower fans. This is really light box. This is really light. This looks like it has nothing in it. That's super weird. We have some comfort zones, mini, I mean, mainstays, mini tower fans. Lasco wind machines. Those are pretty good. Lasco cool color box fans for $25. Wow. $20 for <laughs> Yeah, that's busted. There's no way. Yeah, that's completely destroyed. That's absolutely ridiculous. This is, yeah, that, that is completely destroyed. I don't even know what happened to this. Yeah, I don't even want to because this should just be given away for free. That is completely destroyed. Look at that. That's just ridiculous. Oh, there, that's that's Lasco for you. We got new 373 box fans. I don't really need those. Honeywell Turbo First Power Heater Combos. Dust fans. That, and then we got these white 9 inch table fans. I do need a new one since the other one started rusting out and broke. Those don't have digital controls for some for some reason. This does have digital controls and it's $20. So that's really expensive for a fan like that. Those homes blizzard air circulator fans don't. Got some rechargeable fans here. These are really common in schools and offices. Someone just brought one of those. I don't know how long those are gonna last. And tragically, this thing has a digital controller on it. In fact, we can open it up here and take a look. Because that's what you got to do these days to make sure that you're actually getting a fan and not a piece of paper. Yep, digital controls. Looks nice, though. It's nice and metal. Comes with a wall brick, which is nice. So, digital controls. No idea how long it's going to last, but... Definitely be nice, nice to have next to the desk. Some Arctic Air crap. More better home and garden metal fans. Some rechargeable dual power fans. Now I really did kind of want to get this box fan, but uh, buggy yikes. So I'm gonna just put that back up here. Talking about that. I did want to get one of those mainstays fans uh, but it's kind of a weird design but it's pretty nice three speeds I don't see any warnings on it so that's really nice Oops, don't drop the fan hopefully the fan is still good I may have to do an open up test on that too so I might as well yeah but there are not many fans left here a lot of them are going away you thought, you thought, you thought June was bad? Just wait till July, oh boy. Anyway, my main travel box fan rusted out, so I'm probably gonna have to pick the next boys up. This white one, I guess, is okay. I'm gonna buy that fan, and I'm gonna buy one of these metal fans, since it's USB part. And then later on, I may try one of these out for vacation but unfortunately they're all stupid digital so not sure but uh yeah so i'm gonna get this one i'm gonna make i'm gonna open it up to make sure everything is in there and it's not exploded and then maybe a couple month maybe like two weeks later i'll buy that huh I know I recognize that from somewhere. 
That's Sparks Bear. I think that may be Sparks Bear's intro. Isn't that is something? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna open this up real quick. All right, let's make sure we got everything we need. Because I keep being returned products. All right, this is good. I'm gonna buy this and the box fan. I already checked that one off camera, so that's good. And then a little bit later, I'm going to come back for this in the Driffin Day, uh, Driffin House. Battery, or battery, what type of battery? Hopefully it's not rechargeable. And this is stupid digital, which I really do not want a digital one. Uh, I'm going to check the clearance out too to make sure. I would have gotten a Holmes Blizzard, but these are really weird colors and I don't really like the colors that much, so. Um, I'm looking up for one. Where is it? This one, because I do not want digital controls. AC adapter not included. That's really stupid. AC adapter? I don't think I have. This one's not digital at least at least it's not digital and it's more basic and I can probably put it in the window and get away with it oh anyway I didn't even see that that's a two that's a 10,000 BTU air conditioner I don't need that but yeah Kind of cheap. I don't even know what input it uses. Guess I have to order a power supply. This would be good to have since my um stand fan went out. I mean my um what's it called? What's something went out? No, no, I'm I'm getting confused. But yeah, this is definitely nice. One last look at this box fan. This is just hilarious. Another couple of fans down there. AC is working at full power again. It seems to be working fine. Uh, but I really do not want the digital controls anymore. And I think my um, my grandparents would probably appreciate a Wi-Fi connected unit since they already have Alexa devices. And they are slightly handicapped, so that would be very helpful. So I'll just take the 5000 BTU GE from there, put it, clean it up. And put it in my window and i'll see how much it can give me so and if the ge somehow fails i'll just get a basic unit but yeah that ac is fully functional again i have no idea why it was having a a stroke this morning but now it's working again so very nice all right uh we still have two fans to unbox so let's get to that All right, we're back in. AC is doing a good job again. The dermostat is still erratic, and I actually am starting to think that the dermostat is almost getting ready to fail, or something is going weird in the code. But other than that, it's still cooling down really nicely. A lot of cold air from this unit. And we're gonna, we're gonna go turn on that Medea air conditioner. All right, here's the Medea air the conditioner. We're gonna go ahead and start it up. No idea what a compressor is, so we're just gonna start off from the side. All right, compressor is speeding up. Refrigerant 
Yep, it's already cold. My opinion on this AC has kind of changed a little bit. To be honest, this is an excellent air conditioner. I still don't like inverters and I don't like the amount of things that can found it, but to be honest, this thing has really done a good job. The time will tell, this time will still tell how long it lasts. But yeah, so far, <clears throat> it's been a great little AC. It is a lot of plastic, but that's just how stuff works to me. All right, we're at full power now, kind of. If I turn on high, then the compressor will go up to maximum overdrive, but I need a medium so I have some voltage left from my AC. All right, yep, it is fully running. Yep. 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 That's nice and cold air. So we're gonna get this room cooled down to around 77 degrees, which you'll be surprised how comfortable that is. I have no idea what the room temperature is right now, so let's take a look. All right, mode, whoops. Uh, I'll keep doing that. Set, person, let's see what the temp is. 82 degrees, it was 85 at one point. So at least we have this. So it's currently 82 in the room. We're gonna let this cool down for a second and the lead remote over here so we can communicate with the AC. All right. That's freezing cold air. This is doing a great job. Even though it's an inverter and it has so much things like a fella's doing it. When it works, it works, man. You can hear the refrigerator. It is working hard. Today is just crazy hot. This thing is working extra hard. All right, let's just take a look at the outside of my of mine and uh, Medea air conditioner. This is freezing cold. Yep. That is working. Okay. We also got the sprinklers working as well. But yeah, that's really putting in the work today. It's actually tolerable out here now since we got a lot of the shade now. So it's tolerable out here, just not for too long. But yeah, there's not much else here. That's really the only AC. I could go back to the condenser, but yeah. Our house is the coolest house on the block. That outdoor fan is still stuck. I don't know, I don't get it. I still haven't gotten a reply from General Electric, but if you guys have already heard my plan, I'm just gonna take the 5,000 from there. I'm gonna take that out for cleaning, and I'm gonna put the 5,000 BTUG in there. It's gonna stay in there, so yeah. All right, the central air is running now. I'm gonna go get my temperature meter. All right, my AC isn't, compressor is not on right now. And before we go check, we're going to do a humidity check. 66 degrees. Yeah. Let's go. All right. It's already down to 80 degrees in here. Let's scan this. It's just, this is just excellent. Yeah, we're down to around 45 degrees. Thermostat accuracy is good. Let's go down. 
Let's get some temperature scans of the central. Yep, for central air in this house, this is decent. Yep. 59, 58, yep, climbing down. Yep, that's good. We got a lot of vents. That's on power two. Three is just it's too loud. We're gonna turn on the vent fan over here. That should help freeze out the library. So look at this. Yep, 60 degrees. Turn on this desk fan. Yes. Yeah, I gotta turn on all the other fans. You got the Wuzu fan on Ultra Max. It's pushing a lot of air. Never mind, it's at four. We lower it down, down one to save some voltage. This is working. The plant vents. That's cool. The other vents in here are covered by the couch. All right, let's get the stupid covers on. Yeah, that's gonna start to warm up soon. It has a stupid C frame motor in it. Let's go downstairs and get the downstairs fans. All right, box fan is still down here, making this room nice and cool. Yeah, this is, the box fan is actually doing a good job. A, a wind machine would be better, but this is doing a, a pretty good job the way it is. Let's go in here. We have new fans running and one additional fan. That's new and that's new. This thing is really doing a good job. You're gonna, a video overview will be on these two fans will be coming out very soon. Yeah, both of those are running. This one's not at full speed for some reason. I don't know why. This one's just here. I'm just trying to burn it back in, but yeah. That's off currently is just to let these run fine. These gotta burn in. I gotta let those two burn in for a little bit. They're both a medium. 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 And that one's only one out of two. And that's about all the fans, so back to the room. I think my AC just cycled back on, so let's go. Compressor's running again. Left the ding downstairs, so I'm not gonna go back down to get the infrared, but. Okay, my plans for this air conditioner. I no longer want digital controls and I think my uh, grandparents will like this AC more than I currently do. I'm gonna order a brand new um, thermostat for it. I'm gonna put it in there and I'm just gonna go to the grandma's house. And then for a tray, I'll take their 2010 GE manual air conditioner and I'll use it here until it fails. And then when that fails, I'll either get a 6,000 BTU new Frigidaire or I'll get a 5,000 BTU mechanical air conditioner. I just won't be getting another cell like this. Because, first of all, you guys are going to think this is a little bit funny. Get ready. It's too quiet. I'm sorry, it's just too quiet. <laughs> Second, I'm tired of tired of digital controls. Dirt is impossible to remove into the winter. The only thing this would be the only thing this AC would be removed for if, if 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 it fails. One if it fails. Two, deep clean, which I guess I'm gonna try to do a deep clean. And then while the deep clean is happening, I'm gonna put the GE5050 in here. And then three if um if it explodes. And so far, none of that has happened yet, and one of them is in progress, but, yeah. It still works well for what it's doing right now. The, it's the, temp, the dermostat's still wonky, you just have to be around it to prevent it from doing any crazy stuff. 
This has been an excellent air conditioner, but my grandparents need it more than me. The Wi-Fi, they can hook it up to their little Alexa devices and then uh, control it from their phone app. I'll help them set it up and everything. And their house has less of a um, saddle gap or whatever, a um, seal in mind. It's a seal's almost non-existent seal. They don't even have this part or the brick. They just have a brick. So this would be a better installed air. That's it. Yeah. Still nice and cold. It's freezing cold. And this AC should last long enough. <coughs> <coughs> yep. So I don't want digital controls and it's too quiet, but yeah. And plus it's always good to have some new stuff. New 2010, this 14 year old air conditioner, but yeah. This would be really nice to go to the to grandparents' house. I actually go there quite a few times. And it would be nice to see this thing running. That it will have to this will eventually have to be taken out for a clean because that'll boost the performance of it and be environmentally friendly by saving money. Alright, well. I guess I'll see you guys again once it gets a little bit darker out and then we'll do some night stuff. And then once the day ends, we'll end the video and I'll see if I can get it uploaded in the same day. All right, it is. Sun's going down a little bit. Not all the way down, but it's almost sunset time. Wow, come on. It's currently 7 33, 91 degrees. We're going to record tomorrow too because it's going to be hot. And after that, I'm going to be going away from the house. But right, yeah. This is just on the low compressor level. Fan is still up. This thing's making weird decisions too. I'm going to turn the light on so I can see. But it says 74 on the remote. But the unit hasn't come off because that's set to 77 degrees. So I guess it needs to be set to 80 or something. I don't know. It's just weird. It's just running right now. My AC I put back on energy saving mode for just to test something out. Alright, current room temperature. I had to let it sit down and run for a while. It was 73.9. Set temperature 72. And that's all the stats we got from now and I'll probably see you guys again once it gets dark out. All right, it's getting a little bit darker out. Got the um, GE on energy saver. However, it's really not saving energy or me from the heat. Still 74 degrees and this will not, it just refuses to turn on. <clears throat> However, the Medea seems to be working. Let's go take a little look at the Medea. All right, the Medea has satisfied this room is now down to a perfectly comfortable temperature. It's not 77 degrees, I would have known it. And I can't see the display, so I gotta turn off. It's down to 74 degrees, so. Yep, this is working properly. Down to 74. And it is turned off. And it has actually maintained the room temperature perfectly fine. I didn't want the constant fan on because there's really no need to have the constant fan on since it does actually know when to because it now it does actually know when to turn on because the remote is the dermostat. So the only reason I use comfort, uh, constant fan is if I was in here, so if I needed white noise, but I don't need it. So yeah, let's just go outside get some more temperatures and take a look at some fans again. All right, the street light is on. My AC is there, it's off. It's actually really comfortable out here now. The Medea air duct conditioner is off as well. We're gonna go take a look at the fans soon, but we're gonna go outside again. We put away the sprinklers because we don't really need it anymore. Nice and comfortable. Let's see. It's not 98, it is not 98. Yeah, since it's going into space, it says it's cold. Because it is cold up there, but. Yeah. 
it's nice and cold now. Let's go take a look at the fans. All right, the Chinook box fan is actually up to full speed now. It took over an hour for some reason to speed up all the way. Yeah, this is doing a good job. And this powerful freaking fan is doing a good job too. It's actually dark enough that we can shut this fan down. I had to turn the exposure up, but it's cold enough down here now since so there's no sun, so off the fan goes. Alright, let's go back upstairs. Alright, I'll see you guys again at night time. Alright, back in it. Compressor ran for like one minute and then shut down. No idea why. But yeah. In fact, let's see what temperature it's got. Yep. Anyway, that's enough for this. We're gonna go to the Medea one last time and then that's gonna be it for today's video. All right, blinds are shut because it's possible that people are gonna be sleeping in here tonight. Medea still held the temperature and it hasn't cut back on yet. Let's take a look at the remote. Remote still says 74 degrees. It's almost like that is working perfectly fine. Mm. So the digital controls in here are not that bad, but my AC, is really being entire digital. I'm gonna swap it with a G5050. Only reason why it's gonna take a long time or not get swapped is because of parents not wanting to do it. Well, they just doesn't want to remove the AC from the window. Because there's a pretty good 5050 one I'm gonna clean up and put in this place. And then that one could go to grandma's house since I got Wi-Fi I already talked about. It. Yeah, anyway, that's in today's video. Uh, tomorrow will just be mostly fan reviews. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Expect more content like this. We'll probably have a winter version of this or a fall day when we put the ACs away and switch to fans and National Ceiling Fan Day video. It'll be nice to take all the ACs away and run the fans. Anyway, that ends today's video. Thank you for watching.